guys, it's Dr. Jason from Access Health Chiropractic in Cary. I just wanted to discuss eccentric versus concentric versus isometric exercises. It can be confusing when you get a home rehab routine and I'm talking about eccentric, concentric, or isometric exercises and what that actually means. So let's just go through a quick demonstration using the biceps to talk about the different um, types of muscle contraction. So when we talk about concentric exercises, what we mean is that the muscle has tension and it is in a shortening phase. So if we're talking about the biceps, and I just have a light weight here, what that means is that we are doing just like a biceps curl. And with that, you actually have fibers in your biceps that are shortening. That's why they create that kind of bump in your biceps. And that's called concentric exercise. So the up phase of a biceps curl would be a concentric exercise. An eccentric exercise is actually the lengthening phase while there's still tension. So an eccentric phase of a biceps curl would be starting in the all, all the way curled position and then letting that weight down slowly. So you're still using those biceps muscle fibers, but they are lengthening out under tension. So concentric up, eccentric down, and then the last one is called isometric. So what this means is you have contraction of those fibers, but there's no movement in the joint. There's not lengthening or shortening of those muscle fibers during that contraction. So for the biceps, um, just holding the weight steady here at really any angle and holding it, that would be considered isometric. So we've got concentric, eccentric, lowering, and then just holding where you still have activation of muscle fibers is called isometric. So this is just an example in the biceps. Obviously any muscles um, can do these type of contractions, but this is an easy way to kind of demonstrate it. So when I talk about those types of muscle contraction, um, that gives you an idea of, of why they have different names. Um, and certain types are better for certain phases of rehab. Um, so a lot of times with tendon rehab and like a tendinopathy or tendonitis, we'll use eccentric where we are lengthening the muscle fibers while under a load. Thank you.